actually began about this time last year. Um, I brought together a group of 10 entrepreneurs just to have a think tank session for a day and to say, you know, what could I do better in my role with Enterprise Ireland and how could we all grow business? What I decided was the way to capture it all would be to start a two-year initiative, which we branded the Fuse Initiative. So it started January this year with 18 founding members, all handpicked from around the region, and they've then nominated further members. So we're now up to 170 members. It's essentially about entrepreneurs working with one another and for one another to stimulate and to grow businesses and business opportunities within the South East. When I heard about Fuse, I thought it was a, an excellent opportunity for companies, large and small. What interested me really was that it was a group of entrepreneurs and that it was really led by entrepreneurs themselves. The notion of like-minded, dynamic entrepreneurs looking to do things together is a great idea. They all have a wealth of experience in their, own, uh, in their own businesses, so you bring that kind of experience together around a table and it makes for a very dynamic kind of charge. We've decided that the way to drive this would be to be project-led. We have a number of different projects and entrepreneurs and groups get behind each of those projects. I'm part of the uh, business advice group. We're trying to create an environment where companies can share problems or share new ideas and help bring them to fruition. The project that I'm involved in is a website called supply.ie, a marketplace to help buyers and sellers meet. We want to create a medium for local business to know what larger businesses in the South East region are purchasing. We will get large companies to put onto the database what they buy and then smaller uh, companies like that are Fuse members can go in, access that database and uh, see can they supply that product. The idea of the service cluster is to get companies in the southeast who are in the services space and try to develop some best known methods and some case studies that really promote the businesses themselves and also promote the initiative that's been taken in services innovation. In terms of food tourism, we really believe that there's a, an opportunity here for the southeast that's not being exploited. We don't really have mechanisms for those small operators in the tourism sector and in the food sector work effectively together. Yeah, I think it's a really positive message to say we're not going to government asking for money, we can do it for ourselves. We're creating a network that feeds off itself really. There's no point in being passive um, unless you're prepared to contribute. You know, you get back what you put in. It's really about trying to encourage everyone to give something and then you'll get something back out of it. Tonight was the first occasion where we've gone public uh, and invited everyone who's signed up on the, the website to be part of this to come together to see what it's about. I'm here with a stand and ready to shout from the rooftop about our wares and hope that it will be of interest to other members and vice versa. I think it was great to have the Minister for the Environment Phil Hogan here as well. He's really impressed by it. He's really appreciated the efforts that business people are taking to look after their own future and gave us the backing of the government to try to help remove any roadblocks that we come across. Just in the past hour, we, we've moved our data storage company from a company in Dublin to a company in Wexford. There was a great passion in the room tonight. Um, and you can feel and you can sense it then. When you're in a room like that with people like that, there's no negativity, there's no down talking, there's no anything like that. Everything looks like it can be possible. We've learned how much we have in common and how many ideas we can share. Well, collectively, you're going to be able to achieve an awful lot more, and that's the ambition.